All right, bitches, so we're back. I'm still here. Haven't done a story battle in Chapter 4 yet, even though I've been in the fucking chapter for like 10 hours now. But let's start getting shit done. Head over to Gog Machine City because there is some side quests that we could start now. And we could start getting some fucking badass characters. Fuck generics. I like using my badass motherfucking beast special characters. That's how I like to play. Oh, ho, ho. what could this ball be? Mastadio Roto, what is this shit? Could this be a really good character? It might be. Well, obviously, the leg bone is connected to the fucking part where the legs go, Bisroto. Ah, it reacts to something Rams is carrying. Perhaps the three Zodiac stones we have? Wait, we have three, right? Hey, that's the Aquarius mark. That's what I am in real life. I'm an Aquarius. So we got to go find the Aquarius Zodiac Stone. No problem. No problem at all. Yeah, wait, wait yeah. We have three Zodiac Stones, right? I'm actually going to check this right now. I'm 99.9% .9 positive we have three Zodiac Stones. We have Aries from Wygraph. Taurus from Masadio. Uh, Scorpio from Quakeland. Oh, fuck. And we have Virgo, so we have four. Or, no, Pisces, of course. Pisces is the one that Islu had. Yeah. Um, and we got Scorpio. Taurus. It's funny, um, the date that we got all four of these is all the same. That's when we beat, uh, Wygraph at Riavane's Castle. But when you first get Taurus, when Mastadio joins, like, the date is obviously different. And when you first get Scorpio, usually it's when you first beat Draclau. But towards the end of the game, after Riavane's castle, you end up getting all four of these at the same time. Because you lose Taurus and Scorpio when Ramza gives it to Alma and all kinds of shit like that. Still got the Grammatic Scriptures, how about that? Alright, how old is Ramza, by the way? Wow, oh my god, he's 22 already. Holy shit! <laughs> that's, uh, that's what happens when you poach like crazy, kids. Ramza gets old as fuck. Is there any new rumors? No, we saw all this shit, right? Yeah, future of the war. Hey, guess what? They're going over to Bethlehem Garrison. Shit's not looking good. And then, oh yeah, by the way. Tons of people got fucked up at Lionel Castle and Rio Veins. Just in case you were unawares. Uh, yeah, let's head to the shop. I've got a bunch of money again. Uh, we have a- Oh, we don't have that, so we'll grab that. It is my goal to collect every item in this damn game. That is what we're gonna do. Ooh, a bracer. We definitely want one of those. That shit is expensive as fuck, though. Holy hell. Okay, uh, and we have a bunch of these. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, high ether. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of Phoenix Downs. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're looking good for now. Okay. Um, shit. Okay, so we have to head up to Golden Coal for right now. So I'll be right back at uh, Golden Coal City. Okay. So now that we went to Gog Machine City and we know that we need the Aquarius Stone, that should open up the rumor mill up here in Golan, where we've seen all these blah, 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 blah. Nothing new. But Ghost of Colliery, oh, this is very new. Yeah, so we got monsters, knights, war, reward, all types of crazy shit. Basically, there's a monster and we gotta do something about it. Gotcha. While we're here, let's uh, stop in the shop here. I don't have much money left. It's amazing how quickly it goes. Uh, these bags, this one is regen. There's still another bag that hasn't opened up yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy bags. Although that's pretty much all I've got left. And we've got all the robes and all the accessories. Yeah, alright, fine. Let's grab the, uh, pea bag. Region sounds good, I guess. Whatever. 
Um, and actually, let's go ahead and... I want to sort some equipment here. I did manage to get, um... A thief hat. From, uh, some random units. I'll go over the equipment once we get into a battle here. Well, let's head up to Lysalia. Now that we checked the rumor in Goland. And we've got a brand new event here. Where we may just run into some fucking awesome beast. Maybe. So Rams is just chilling in bars now. I guess that's what he likes to do. Looking for some hoes, no doubt. Rams is a hoe runner. <laughs> milk. I'll have milk, please. There's a scene like this in Dragon Ball, too. Oh, Rams has seen his share of bloodshed, all right. If only you knew, motherfucker. All right, yeah, shit's going down in the coal mine. We gotta go check that out. Because the knights can't do shit except kill each other in this civil war going on. Oh, Ramza, he's so cool. Oh, Ramza, we can't wait to see how your journey in uh, Journey of the Five turns out as well. If only Balbanes were alive. Ramza right now, his dick gets so hard. Like, he hears a dude basically compare him to his father, Balbanes, who clearly is Ramza's hero. Ramza right now, he, he just has like a 12-foot erection. He's like, yes! Following in Balbane's footsteps, just what I want. Oh, not even a master hunter, the holy dragon. I hope it's not a boss. Hopefully. He like, says, shit, yeah, I'm going. Alright, well, you'll get a rumor soon about how I dominated, so. Alright, what's up? Beowulf. Now that is a fucking badass name. And this character, Beowulf, is much better than the movie and the story. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. I'll hire you. You can- oh, Wow! What a- What a guy! You'll never hear that. You can pay me later. The only time I ever heard someone say that in anything was in Breaking Bad when that one character, Todd, was like, yeah, we could talk about paying after I figure out how to make this meth. But that doesn't really happen in the real world, so... Uh, let's check the shop. Let me see if there's an- oh, Assassin Dagger, we'll take it. Or Halcom, sure. Main God, sure. It's funny, I haven't needed many of these knives since I have the Zorlin shape. Holy fuck, man. Shit is expensive, and we'll get a lot of money in Golan, so. Whole bunch of... Oh, shit, Beowulf came with a crystal shield. Okay. God damn right he came with a crystal shield. Finally, I got one back after that motherfucker in Orban broke it. Agrius had one. Oh, yeah, let's, um... Uh, so, Raph, let's see what they say now. That ignores faith. Yeah, truth. Truth is not as good of a skill in this game as I wish it was. Oh yeah, and then Malax does lots of damage if they have low faith. Trust or you'll be sorry. Yeah, sure, no problem. Beowulf, what do you got? Temple means shrine. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Temple means shrine. It's also the upper part of the face. Thank you, Beowulf! Thanks so- <laughs> Thank you so much! Uh, oh wow. Beowulf came with really good equipment, actually. That's- that's awesome. Uh, let's give him an item. He doesn't need equip change. Fuck that shit. Uh, Be I love Beowulf in this game. I think he's fantastic. Basically, he's an oracle. But his skills are instant. And they- the percentages seem to be way higher than an oracle. Also, shock could be put to good use. Um, yeah, Beowulf, he's just a guest for now, but uh, he will be pretty fucking badass. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so we are good to go. 
Let's go to Golden Coal City! The path becomes more perilous as the road begins to steepen and narrow. Huh. Onto the mines we go. Now, we have a ton of new skills now. Uh, poaching is a real motherfucker. It always is. Let's put every- I want to put everyone, like, right over here. Uh, so Ramza is going to be in the first team. He's looking like this. We have Thief Hats. Thief Hats are, like, the best item in the game by far. Like, speed plus two, and it gives you immunity, don't move, don't act. And it gives you the most health of any hat. Like, it is just outrageous. It, it's- it's so good, I can't even describe how good it is. And the rest of this we've all seen before. I gave him a Wizard Rod, of course, because that's, uh, plus two MA. And Rams is going to be lowering the boom with these summons. And of course, I'm not really going to be using math skill. It's just... It is so broken, like, words can't describe how broken it is. <laughs> Basically, that's how you could put it. Um, let's see, who else are we... I want, um, Agrius over here. Yeah. Uh, so Agrius is looking good. Damage split, attack up. I gave her teleport because that'll be important where we are on this uh, side of the battlefield. And she has the Satims in, whatever. It gives MA plus one, which is not why I gave it to her. It's the always haste. So Agrius is going to be in permanent haste, which is amazing. So <laughs> Agrius is going to be rocking shit, basically. We'll put her right there. Um, Who else do I want? I mean, we could bring... Let's try and bring, like, Malak or Rafa. Um... Sure, let's bring, uh, Rafa. Her equipment is just ridiculous. Like, she's got the rubber costume, Kuntage, the whale whisker, which is the strongest pole. Like, Rafa is real good. So we'll get- we'll bring her. That's fine. Now, over here, I'm gonna bring Rad. Why not? Because he is a heavy hitter like that. And we can bring Mastata Bro, I guess. Sure, sure. Now, this fight is not going to be hard. I guess that's the easiest way I can say it. We are not going to struggle here. I could have brought, um, brought Blade Grasp on everyone, and that would have been just devastating. So we've got two teams of three, and it's just a fight against a whole shit ton of chemists. Nothing special here. I wonder... Okay, well, that answers that. If they all have thief hats. Oh, they do. Interesting. I sure would like to get a couple more thief hats. I'll tell you that much. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put Agrius right here. And I guess maybe a holy explosion. Oh, wow. Look at that. Agrius, I wish you hit harder. And this is her with attack up, too. Holy shit. Yeah, and just a regular attack is 128. We'll go for Crush Punch, because maybe it'll inflict death. Because they are immune to stop, so Stasis Sword's gonna be no good. Because the black costume protects against stop. So, yeah, not really gonna do anything there. Oh, also, before- well, let's just have Rafa attack. Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Oh, damn! Okay, so in Vanilla, it looks like- Rafa's skills can hit herself. In 1.3, they can't. Um, wow, they all are gonna get a turn. They couldn't kill her before this goes off, though. No, no way. And let's keep him from going anywhere. Go ahead, Masahiro. Let's see what you got. You're going for Agrius, that's fine. She's got damage split, bitch. Again, I mentioned it before, but Damage Split really is my favorite reaction. Just because it's good in any situation, I mean... Then, of course, Rad, I gave him MP Switch. Then the fact that he'll have Chakra so he can replenish his MP. That's pretty useful. Just as long as they don't crit her. It's funny, her reaction... Oh, wow! I thought the AI would have been smart enough to shoot her, but I guess not. Oh, God! They must have good compat. Uh, yeah, again, with Rafa's low brave, most reactions are not going to be good for her. So I'm definitely going with the abandoned equipped shield all the time. 
Um, hold on. Let's see here. Let's go take a look at Beowulf real quick. Let's uh, see what uh, his job is looking like. Protects the church from heathens. Okay. That's why he was telling us about shrine and temple. Swings a sword that brings magic. Sweet. What a description. Okay, Ramza. Um, well, we've seen all of these. Probably a freed is just going to do it, right? No, it's not. And I don't have Shiva. Damn it. All right, well, we'll throw down Bahamut, I guess, maybe? Right there? No, wow, okay. How about Leviathan? I know I can hit these two fuckers, and that's exactly what the hell I'm gonna do. Uh, we'll, what do we want to use today? Odin? Yeah, we'll use Odin, sure. All right, now go ahead, Heaven Thunder. Three times. No, not Rafa. No, Rafa, you're letting everyone down! You needed to look cool for everyone, and you failed to do that. Damn it, Rafa. And Beowulf is going to be pretty useless in Goland. Um, do you have... You do have Wave Fist. Okay, so this guy you could probably could kill. Go ahead, Rad. Show us what's up. Oh, come on now. 200? You should be doing like 500, son. Five hundo is what I want to see from you. Does Masadio have ether? For some reason, he doesn't. Alright, I'm gonna have to learn that after this fight. 60. Oh, come on. Whatever. Fuck you. Masadio's snipe is gonna be worthless because all these dudes have thief hats, like I explained before. So, they're immune to don't move and don't act. So really, we shouldn't even bring Mustadio for a lot of these fights. What, 195? They have worse than Pat, holy shit. Elixir, what the fuck? Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that is rare. You do not see that very often at all. An enemy chemist busting out Elixir? That's literally some 1.3 shit right there, holy fuck. Yeah, Elixir. Pretty fucking good. Restores all HP and MP. Um, Let's just take this fuckboy out. One thing I gotta love about the poles is the range of two. Rafa is a great pole dancer. 336, huh? Not bad. Um, Agrius, we'll just keep this dude locked up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna let all these dudes crystallize or chest. Because I badly want their uh, gear. The doom of a planet, fuck you. Come on, Agrius, start getting some procs, you whore. I need to get her a stronger night sword, too. And, oh no. Rad, he, he, that hurt. Ow, owie, ow. Yeah, Beowulf is not gonna be doing very much. Okay, so we're just chilling. Do I have guts? I can, so at least while we're waiting, Oh, perfect. So now Agrius is going to have um, perfect brave. How about that? Here you go, girl. 97 brave for Agrius. Yahoo! And he's just going to elixir himself over and over. Gotcha. Um, Let's go stand next to Rafa and we use Chakra. Let me quit bullshitting, too. I need to go ahead and kill this chemist. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to hit from that angle. God damn it. Maybe. Alright, cool. So I actually am going to let this chemist get out of here. Oh, actually, no. He's dead. Because whoever gets the next turn... Uh, yeah, you can get out. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. There we go, Rafa. What's up, girl? Yeah, the Whale Whisker will make her much more effective than if I didn't have the best pull in the fucking game. Oh, don't... Don't tell me you have Fiendstown. Alright, I was gonna wait 
and let these dudes, like, chest and crystallize, but that's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass if they're just gonna be doing Phoenix Downs all over. Uh, let's see, because Ram's a... Damn, it's a shame I didn't bring any way to stop him. Yeah, I don't have... Alright, we'll just kill him. Whatever. Alright, fuck boys. too bad. Ramza can let off Bahamut, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Bam. Game over. And we're just waiting. So yeah, this first battle in Goland. Uh, not the hardest battle of all time. Certainly. Scorch this motherfucker with Dragon Flame! Just imagine Samuel Jackson saying that. Scorch this motherfucker, Bahamut! Summons, still good. Alright, bye, fuckboys. Have a nice trip to hell. That's what you get for trying to ambush us. Do you not know who the fuck we are? Oh, yes, please give me money, because there's still shit I gotta buy. Oh, and yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. In Goland, every war trophy is a mithril item. I should also mention that there's four battles in this place. So, this actually is the longest sequence of like sequential battles we've encountered so far so we'll go ahead and drop a save right here <laughs>